Cluster One was really about getting on orbit quickly and showing that we could do this geolocation thing. Cluster Two is really about establishing a capacity that meets customer needs. So we build our payload here. We ship it up to Spaceflight Labs in Toronto where they integrate it into their bus. And then once that's all complete, we um, ship it off to the launch pad for some uh, integration with the launch vehicle. We fly it three satellites in a cluster to be able to geolocate the signals. They're going to be about twice as big and have about twice as much power. We also are adding another ground station in the South Pole. That gives us a second downlink location. So we can downlink once in the North in the Arctic and once in the South Pole. Cluster 2 essentially makes the current products better. Uh, it also increases the capacity so we can do more processing at the same time. The visual that you're going to get as a result of Cluster 2 being on orbit is multiple signal layers all taken simultaneously to a higher accuracy, all brought down in a shorter period of time. In the end, it drives a more accurate decision. So you get a crisper picture of what's actually happening in the environment and a better source of information to be used for behavioral detection, indications and warnings, and just different activities for a particular area or problem.